and welcome back to my channel. I am making another really summary, quite simple, everything in one pan, um, in a one bowl cake. Um, and I have chosen a bit of uh, kind of lemon, passion fruit, mango combined, all the citrus, lovely summery flavors. Super simple, I promise. And once you've made it, you will keep making it throughout the summer so let's get baking but before that don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button i've got the oven already on um, at 160 fan or 180 normal oven so it's heating up because this is only going to take two minutes to kind of whip up the uh, batter um so I have got here um, unsalted softened butter. I left the butter out of the fridge last night and that is 175 grams in total. Same amount of butter, so 175 gram. Oh, it's so windy today. <laughs> I'm gonna add 175 grams of self-raising flour and I'm not gonna add any baking powder to this because I don't want, there's enough I need in the bat um, in the self raising flour itself. So in goes a tablespoon of milk. Next, zest of two unwaxed lemons. This is the normal grater because I love. I don't mind it being a little bit thicker than the zest. Next three large eggs all that's left to do is beat this for a couple of minutes and that gives me enough time to grease a cake tin so this is nice and fluffy very light and pale um, I'm gonna just get this in the pan in the tin so I'm using a loaf tin, which is like a two pound loaf tin. I've greased it, just gonna line it. And then it's ready for the cake uh, mixture. And now this is going to go in a, in the hot oven at, like I said, 160 fan or 180 normal oven for 45 minutes. Um, I'm just going to make a lovely, gorgeous, fresh syrup to go on the cake. So 50 grams of caster sugar, I'm using golden. Um, 50 ml of water. The two, these are the two lemons I use the zest for in the cake. I am going to use the juice from these two lemon and add it to our sugar syrup. Now I'm going to just um, bring it to a boil and um, kind of let it be on the hob till the sugar dissolves. Okay. So here's the lovely cake. I'm going to leave it in the tin. It's very hot, obvious reasons. <laughs> it's just out of the oven. So what I'm going to do is just use a skewer and make some holes. The cake's warm. You can use a brush, but it's all really nice and hot. So this is this was going to work absolutely fine. It's just going to soak it. There it goes. Now I'm going to let it sit for an hour in the tin and let it cool down. An hour. It's so moist, beautiful, delicious. 
just get this out it's still really warm it's not hot but it is warm so i'm just going to let it sit on here for another half an hour to cool down before i put anything on this so for the icing i am just going to take a 300 ml of double cream that should be plenty and then i'm going to add two to three teaspoons of sugar to this and then just whisk it until it forms soft peaks and just a drop of vanilla to match the lemon and the passion fruit and mango and then it's done just give it a good mix you still just want soft peak so this is perfect i don't want to over whisk it so i have got here um, i've got here beautiful indian mango and it's really ripe um really soft so i don't know if it's going to cut exact like squares like cubes and stuff but i'll just chop it up anyways and i've got a beautiful passion fruit which i will cut in a minute Oh yum. I actually had to run out because the sun was just setting and there was hardly any light in there and the light outside is gorgeous as you can see that slice is calling my name and a half <laughs> I might have two slices my mouth is watering is one of my favorite cakes all my cakes are one of my favorites mm I've just gone to mango heaven citrus heaven that cake is lemony the topping with the mango and passion fruit is exquisite absolutely delicious please try it come back for another recipe and don't forget to subscribe that if you don't like that i don't know what you like that is insane so good